engine and Thomas the tank engine puffed buffer to buffer back home. It had been a busy day. First, Thomas had teased Gordon about the time that the big engine had slid into a ditch. Then Thomas fell down a mine and Gordon came to his rescue. Remember, Thomas, called Gordon grandly. United we stand, together we fall. You help me, and I'll help you. I'll remember, replied Thomas. I hope Sir Topham half forgives us soon. Suddenly, they noticed something. As the two engines whistled into the sheds, everywhere they looked, they saw paint pots and painters. Bust my buffers, said Thomas. What's happening? Shh, whispered Percy. Sir Topham Hatt's going to tell us now. Ladies and gentlemen and engines, I am honored to inform you that Her Majesty the Queen herself is coming here to visit us. Now, on with the preparations. The engines wondered who would pull the royal train. I'm too old to pull important trains, said Edward. I'm in disgrace, sighed Gordon. He'll choose me, of course, boasted James. You, snorted Henry, you can't climb hills. He will ask me to pull the train, and I'll have a new coat of paint. Then the rain came. Henry's driver and fireman covered up their cab to keep dry. A painter was on the ladder above the line. Henry's smoke blew high into the air. The painter couldn't see. Both he and the paint pot fell all over Henry. Poor Henry. Well, you're not a pretty picture, sneered the painter. Sir Tom Hatt spoke next. You look like an iced cake, Henry. That won't do for the royal train. I must make other arrangements. <laughs> Gordon and Thomas were waiting for him. Please, Please sir. sir. One at a time, replied Sir Topham Hatt. Yes, Gordon. May Thomas have his branch line again? Hmm. I think you are both sorry and deserve a treat. Edward will go in front to clear the line. Thomas will look after the coaches, and Gordon will pull the train. The great day came. All the engines worked hard. in the yard.